Whether you learn it the easy way or the hard way, the fact remains that a computer needs to be cleaned regularly. Internal components need to be cleaned because the dust buildup not only inhibits the cooling process, but can also seriously shorten the longevity of your hardware. And while the consequences peripherals suffer from neglect aren't that detrimental to the PC itself, they can get pretty disgusting. Hygiene is important. Don't be that one gamer whose keyboard looks like this. It gives us all a bad rep. Now we do understand that the process of cleaning the hardware pieces in particular can seem quite daunting. Better to have some dust build up than to mess something up and have the PC stop working entirely, right? Well, we get where you're coming from, but you can't let fear hold you back. And that's precisely why, in today's video, we'll be talking you through the process of physically cleaning your PC step by step. So if you're still apprehensive about the whole ordeal, just follow our instructions and you'll be done before you know it. So without any further ado, let's begin. Let's start with something easy. Cleaning the computer case is a relatively simple process. All you'll need is a can of compressed air and any sort of cloth and brush. Also, if you have case-mounted fans, which we hope you do if this is a gaming PC, then you may also need some cotton swabs and some alcohol. And lastly, depending on what kind of case you have, you may need a screwdriver to actually open it. So now that you're equipped for the job, let's start with the instructions. First, unplug the power supply and give the PC some time to cool down. You can skip this step if you'll be cleaning just the case and not the hardware, but we personally don't recommend it. Better safe than sorry. Now that the PC has had some time to cool down, remove the left side of the panel from your case and gaze thine eyes on what dwells within. Just a fair warning for those of you who haven't opened the case since you bought it, it might not be a pretty sight. Whatever the case, the dirtiest parts are bound to be the top and the bottom. Feel free to use a vacuum cleaner if the dust buildup is, let's say, significant, but otherwise just wipe the dust away with the cloth. There will, however, be places where you won't be able to reach with the cloth, and this is where the can of compressed air comes into play. Aim, fire, and watch the dust get blown out of the dry racks and fan grills. It's very important that you do not shake the can and that you hold it upright so that the liquid air can't escape. And this goes double for when you're cleaning the hardware pieces. You can do all of this without the use of compressed air, but it gets a lot more tedious. Make sure to clean the dust filters as well if your case has them, and you can do this either with the can of compressed air or with a brush. And finally, when it comes to the case-mounted fans, the biggest problem is getting rid of the dust stuck between the fan blades. To clean them, just dip the cotton swab in alcohol and rub the dust away. You may want to remove the fans from the case first if they're hard to reach, but this is up to you. If you relish the challenge, then by all means, keep the fans mounted. With all that done, your case should now be squeaky clean. And that wasn't hard at all, now was it? Now seeing as the case is already open and you have all the cleaning utensils you need, let's use this opportunity to clean the hardware as well, starting with the CPU. The CPU itself actually doesn't need to get clean, but the cooler and the sockets sure do. And here's how you do it. First, disconnect the cooler from the motherboard and take it out. You'll be using the can of compressed air to blow the dust out of the heatsink, but make sure to hold the fan blades in place while you do this, as the high air pressure can damage the bearing if the fan is forced to spin violently. Then just brush the remaining dust from the fan and use the cotton swab and alcohol to get rid of the dust that refuses to vacate the fan blades, just like with the case-mounted fans. And lastly, use the brush to clean the dust on and around the socket before putting the cooler back. Again, you can do all of this without removing the CPU. You'll have to agree that cleaning the CPU was pretty simple, and we're happy to say that cleaning the graphics card is even simpler. You can even do it without taking the card out of the case, but this is only if you don't want it to give it a thorough scrubbing. You're good in either case because we'll talk you through both processes. So if you want to clean the graphics card thoroughly, you'll first need to take it out of the case. Then repeat what you did with the canned air when cleaning the CPU cooler, and again, make sure to hold the fans in place as you do. If you're using a blower fan graphics card, it's best to blow the air out the back of the card. Next, use the brush to clean the backplate. In case you don't have a backplate, brush very gently so as not to damage the circuit board. And finally, use the alcohol-dipped cotton swab to get rid of the obstinate dust from the fan blades. After all of this is done, your graphics card will be all clean and ready for action. And if you want to clean it without taking it out of the case, just use the compressed air to blow air into the back of the card and watch the dust inside the heatsink fly right out. Again, it's absolutely paramount that you hold the can upright so that no liquid air can escape, because it may damage the graphics card. Also, don't shake the can. 
Next up, you should clean the power supply. This can be done without removing the PSU and even without opening it. If you want to remove the PSU before you start, just make sure that no connectors are held in place by a safety pin while you're disconnecting them. If you're having trouble getting the connector to come loose, try gently wiggling it left and right while holding the motherboard down. Now to clean the PSU without opening it, first push a screwdriver into the fan grill to hold the fan in place and then use the can of compressed air to blow out the dust. Make sure to do this several times from different angles so that no dust can hide from you. Opening the PSU, however, allows you to use the brush to get rid of the dust. This is great if you don't want to use compressed air and it lets you clean the fan blades with cotton swabs. And that about does it for the hardware part. Or at least that's the complicated part. The motherboard is usually in a vertical position so it doesn't get much dust buildup except on the top of the heatsink and the protruding PCIe and RAM slots. All it takes to clean this is a bit of light brushing. And in case it is placed horizontally, you'll still only need the brush. It's just that you'll have to brush a larger surface. The dust will also likely have built up inside the unused PCIe slots, but the brush gets rid of this problem as well. And you can also blow the air out, either with a can or with your unrelenting force shout. Brand modules only have the heatsink and that's easily cleaned with a brush, and storage devices don't use internal airflow to stay cool, so all you'll need to do is clean the dust that's settled on top of them just for decency's sake. And finally, there are the peripherals. They're much easier to clean than the internal components, but you'll need some more equipment. In addition to the can of compressed air, cotton swabs, soft brush, and a piece of cloth, you will also need a microfiber cloth, screen wipes, and either rubbing alcohol or distilled water. We'll only be giving you step-by-step -step instructions for cleaning the keyboard and monitor because all it takes to clean the other peripherals is a brush and possibly a cloth and some alcohol, if the situation requires some more intense scrubbing. Cleaning the keyboard is a relatively simple process, and it's the same regardless of whether you're using a membrane or a mechanical keyboard. All you'll need is a piece of cloth, some cotton swabs, rubbing alcohol, and a can of compressed air. First, hold the keyboard upside down and blow out all the dust, debris, and residue out using the can of compressed air. Then dip the cloth in rubbing alcohol and rub the keyboard clean, both the keys and the spaces between them. Once in a while, you may also want to remove the keys and clean under them using a cotton swab dipped in alcohol. Then just put the keys back and you're ready for action. As for the monitor, this is where you'll need the special microfiber cloth to make sure that you don't accidentally scratch the display. You may also need rubbing alcohol or distilled water in case the monitor has some clumps of dirt that won't come off easily. Or you can use screen wipes. They're quite cheap and you can buy them in almost any tech store. So if you're using the microfiber cloth, start by gently wiping the dust in vertical or horizontal swipes. Don't apply force if you come across any clumps that won't come off, as this can easily damage the display. Instead, dip a bit of cloth in either alcohol or distilled water and gently rub the hardened debris until it comes off. The process is similar if you're using screen wipes. Just wipe the dust away in straight vertical or horizontal swipes and you're good. Although some screen wipe solutions don't evaporate immediately and might cause some smudging. In which case, you'll need the microfiber cloth to dry the screen afterwards. And there you have it, a quick and simple guide to keeping your computer physically clean. Repeat this on a regular basis and your PC will thank you by being cooler, quieter, and faster. A clean computer is a happy computer. We hope you found this video helpful, let us know in the comments below if you did, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, just like dust continually builds up inside the case, useless junk continually builds up in your windows. Remember how lightning fast everything worked when you first installed it? What happened to that? Well, if you want to make sure your Windows is as clean as your hardware, check out our video on speeding up Windows 10 for gaming. The link is in the description. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.